Do you know how factories and homes in isolated areas get supplied with high electric power at a lesser cost? This is due to a device called phase converter, which converts power from a single phase source into a three phase power. This Buzzle Post tells you all about the functioning of this device. For your information American Rotary is a world-famous Wisconsin-based company, which manufactures outstanding phase converters since 1991. Phase converters were invented in the later part of the 1900s. This machine converts power from a single phase source to three phase power. There are scenarios where an applications need three phase power. However, only a single phase source exists. These converters are used in such cases to convert the power obtained from a single source into a multiple source so that the applications can run smoothly nevertheless. Basic working mechanism basically, a single phase power source, say an AC motor, uses the principle of magnetism to alternate between poles. This produces varying voltages. Phase converters generate one third voltage which is added to the voltages present in the single phase source. In other words, a third line of electric power is generated, which is combined with the two single phase lines in order to produce a true three phase power. Though this is the underlying phenomenon, it is achieved in various ways through different types of converters. The type static phase converters this type is one of the simplest forms of phase converters. It uses a capacitor, CS, and a voltage-sensitive relay. L1, L2 equals single phase source voltages L3 equals third voltage source produced by the converter CS equals star capacitor CR equals run capacitor working the capacitor shifts the phase by creating a magnetic field that is equal to a three-phase source. After the motor gets started, the relay disconnects the capacitor. After this, the motor continues to turn on the single power supply only. Thus, the static type only produces a third phase current, which supplements the currents from a single phase power source. Motors that are run using these converters can produce only about 50% of their estimated power. To increase the power slightly, a low-cost run capacitor can be used. This will increase the production of power by a further 20% or so. As shown in the diagram, the star capacitor is used to start the motor, and then it is completely switched off. The run capacitor is always present, and it is carefully adjusted to balance the voltages at one load. The balancing of the voltage at the other load is almost nil. Thus, a third current line is maintained, even though the star capacitor is switched off as soon as the motor starts. This is because the run capacitor is designed to maintain some voltage. These converters have poor efficiency, as they end up delivering only half output, or they become damaged due to overheating. Consequently, they cannot be used for a long-term duration. Rotary phase converters This electromechanical device basically works like a rotating transformer. L1, L2 equals single phase source voltages T1, T2. T3 equals three phase output voltages note, T1 and T2 should always be utilized to operate magnetic controls working it uses an independent three phase motor and a group of capacitors they function as one large capacitor. Thus, adding an idler to the static converter will give us a rotary device. The motor has three leads, and the single phase source is attached to two of them. The third lead is attached to one of the source outputs. It is connected in series with the capacitors. When energized, the converter uses the two currents from the single phase from the utility and creates a manufactured third line of power. This voltage is produced by the rotating magnetic flux in the motor. It is shifted by 120 degrees from the voltage between the first two terminals. The diagram shows source legs L1 and L2 as the input current sources. T1, T2 and T3 comprise the three phase output voltages. If the converter is properly sized, these voltages will remain in a balanced state over the entire range of connected loads. For loads that need more balanced voltage in the output, the size of the frame of the converter motor is normally increased. These converters can provide resistive, capacitive, and inductive loads, and they can power several loads at one time.
They have a simple design and are reliable and low on cost. However, the only problem is in maintaining a voltage balance. To combat that problem, motors of a larger size are used only for a single machine each. Thus, these machines are an effective solution for simple load motors. Digital phase converters it is the most modern type of machine and is completely electronic. Working it uses a rectifier, an inverter, and a digital signal processor DSP to produce a third voltage. The rectifier acts as the input module, while the inverter acts as the output module. The process is referred to as double-egged insulated gate bipolar transistor conversion. The insulated gate bipolar transistors work as the power switching devices here. The rectifier consists of IGTs in series with the inductors. These converters normally operate at a frequency of 10,000 Hz here, the alternating current from the single phase source is converted to direct current, and then back to alternating current. This incoming current is sinusoidal, and is drawn by the IGTs. This is done with the help of DSP software. The IGTs that comprise the inverter, create the AC voltage. This current is not sinusoidal, but it is a pulse width modulated waveform. This voltage is passed through the inductor system to give a proper sine wave voltage. This voltage produced is added to the two voltages from the single source to create a true three-phase power. The DSP monitors the entire process at all times in order to create a perfect output. Computer numerical control CMC machines are probably one of the most demanding applications for phase converters. These machines use electronics to control the speed and movement of multiple motors within the machine. However, they can be used only with rotary and digital converters. Applications These machines find their applications in places where there is only a single phase power source for running various applications, which require three phase power. Normally, a three phase power is very costly, and it is often not supplied in all the areas. Therefore, these converters are quite useful for such applications. Building coolant pumps. Coolant pumps for HVAC system. For CNC machines. Control panel of CNC machine. Making air compressors. Air compressor. Manufacturing HVAC. Heating, ventilation, and manufacturing unit. HVAC device powering rural areas supplying electricity to small factories running farm equipment building efficient submersible pumps in woodworking shops dual lift stations for welding equipment elevator technology for electrical systems and combination with transformers electric railways thus, phase converters are significant in order to produce multiple phase currents from a single source. They also cut down on the cost as providing a complete three-phase power costs a lot for the utility company in terms of price and manpower.